वेलकम गाइस टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज एक्चुअल वेपर कंप्रेशन साइकिल कैलकुलेशंस बिफोर मूविंग अहेड इट इज रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बेल सो दैट यू कैन फाइंड मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोस इन फ्यूचर इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटली डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इज एक्चुअल वेपर कंप्रेशन साइकिल एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इट्स टी एस एंड पी एच डायग्राम्स टूडे वी विल check that what are the calculation which are involved in actual vapor compression cycle suppose following data we have given that working refrigerant is r134a our mass flow rate is 0.05 kg per second at point 1 which is at superheated region our pressure is 1.4 bar and temperature is minus 10 degree centigrade at point 2 which is the after the compression which is not isentropic uh, compression because this is actual vapor compression cycle our pressure is 8 bar and temperature is 50 degree centigrade at point 3 our pressure is 7.2 bar and temperature is 26 degree centigrade because during condensation due to the frictional losses in pipeline our pressure drops down in actual vapor compression cycle and at point 4 our pressure is 1.5 bar now what we have to find out we have to find out the heat removal from the refrigerated space or heat absorbed by the evaporator in order to provide the cooling effect heat rejected by the condenser to the environment work power input by the compressor isentropic efficiency in order to Uh, know that how much extra power is required by the compressor in actual vapor compression cycle as compared to ideal vapor compression cycle coefficient of performance of our whole refrigeration cycle so first we have to do that we have to plot all the given data on ps diagram in order to find out the enthalpies at all four states our point 1 is at 1.4 bar and minus 10 degrees centigrade so as you can see that 1.4 bar mean uh, 140 kilo pascal so our point 1 will be at 140 kilo pascal and temperature is minus 10 which is which is between 0 and minus 20 so this line will be drops down like this so this is our point number 1 our point 2 is at 8 bar and 50 degree centigrade that means 0.8 megapascal and temperature is 50 degree centigrade that means between 40 and 50 it will be around here so this is our point 2 so this compression process occurs now point 3 our pressure drops to 7.2 bar and temperature is 26 degree centigrade so 0.72.7 and 7.2 mega bar will be here and temperature is this is 20 25 and around here 26 so point 3 we have plotted now point 4 since we know that expansion process occurs in which enthalpy remains constant so we draw uh, drops on the straight line according to the pressure 1. Five, uh, 5 bar so our ps diagram is completed now what we have to do we have to find enthalpies at each point at point 1 the enthalpy is around 246 at point 2 enthalpy is around 286 at point 3 and 4 enthalpy is around 86 point something so guys we have find out the all the enthalpies at point 1 our enthalpy is 246.36 at point 2 our enthalpy is 286.69 at point 3 our and sorry this is misprint point 3 at point 3 enthalpy is 87.83 and enthalpy at point 3 and 4 remains constant so 87.83 kJ per kg now moving to the solution first we have to find out the power required by the compressor or work input by the compressor it can easily be calculated by multiplying the difference of enthalpies between point 1 and point 2 and multiplying it by the mass flow rate our mass flow rate is given 
enthalpy at point 2 we have find out 286 and enthalpy at point 1 we have find out 246 so we get putting the after putting the values and calculating we get 2.02 kilowatt will be the required power of the compressor now we have to find how much heat is absorbed in evaporator from the refrigerated space in order to provide the cooling effect it will be similar by the product of uh, by the difference of enthalpies multiplying by the mass flow rate so enthalpy at point 1 is 246 and point 4 87 so by uh, calculating we find out 7.93 kilowatt heat will be absorbed in evaporator now how much heat is rejected by the condenser to the environment similarly by the difference of enthalpies and mass flow rate we get 9.943 now isentropic efficiency isentropic efficiency can easily be calculated by getting difference of enthalpy in ideal compression in ideal compression there will be one to two dash compression divided by the actual compression one to two but enthalpy at point two dash we have to calculate so how we calculate since the s entropy at point 1 and 2 dash is constant so by finding entropy and pressure which is 8 bar we can easily calculate enthalpy at point 2 dash that is 284.21 kilojoule per kg so putting this values in isentropic efficiency we get 93 percent efficiency that means 7 percent power more power is required in actual vapor compression cycle to the compressor cop cop is equal to required load divided by work input what is our required load required load is how much heat is absorbed in evaporator and work input how much power is required by the compressor so putting the values we get 3.93 this cop value indicates that for every 1 kilowatt power input to the compressor we will get 3.93 kilowatt of refrigeration uh, cooling or refrigeration kilowatt so guys this was our today's video i hope you like this and if you like this please share in comments and give your feedback